Uh, and so there needed to be somebody to start publicising uh, out to the general public just what is this stuff. Uh, and I was at a, I actually went along to a digital inclusion conference. And that conference was there, it was set up a large number of volunteers who were interested in being able to get lots of different volunteer groups uh, access to the internet, access to computers, because they realized that computers were such a benefit to their little communities. Uh, say if it was like teaching the elderly, disabled, uh, if it was just people that were, I heard of one group that were very uh, interested in pigeon racing. It might sound like a, a, a strange little thing, but that was what they were interested in. They needed to get computers so that they could find out and create their own little pigeon racing community. Uh, but they needed software, and they needed, and software is expensive. Uh, and I'd volunteer myself to come along and do a talk about, it was open office at the time. And uh, I was standing up there being very, uh, sort of, a, this is the best thing that's ever happened and all this kind of stuff. And, about, uh, and we actually had all these free CDs that uh, we were giving out to people. So we had uh, about 200 CDs that we managed to get and hand out. But I realized that if I had 200 CDs, then I could only give these volunteers out uh, this certain amount, and then they might be, they may have the ability to copy them and give them to other people. Uh, they may learn how to like download them from the internet, but it's unlikely that they would do that because it's the skill level to actually be able to copy a CD or to be able to download some software from the internet is actually a bit in advance of what most people use because most people just use it for internet, maybe a little bit of uh, uh, emailing photographs and stuff like that, but downloading stuff, that's scary. Burning CDs, it's difficult. And I was trying to figure out a way that I could get these CDs out to uh, as many people as possible because I can't, it's really expensive to be able to uh, burn thousands and thousands of CDs. And uh, while I was talking, I said, yes, anybody can take this open source CD and they can copy it and they can use it, they can give it to their friends. Uh, and fuck, you could even have it in libraries. And that was the moment I thought, Right. Yes, they could be in libraries. Why aren't they in libraries? I can put these in libraries. And that's when I started to put them into libraries. Uh, I went uh, first... Uh, so that the idea, that's when the idea formed. And I started researching into libraries. And they're in Edinburgh, here we are. There's uh, 500,000 people here. And there are 26 public libraries. So I'd given out 200 CDs at this digital inclusion conference, but if I had given out 26 CDs, I could have covered the whole of Edinburgh, 500,000 people. I mean, that's a, it's a very vague uh, kind of uh, way of describing it, but it was possible because there would be 26 separate places where people could get this software and they could take it home and they could copy it. And that's actually a distribution system. It's a CD distribution system. So uh, I went along to, uh, I must admit, I probably scared the librarians quite a bit when I first did it, but uh, I got uh, a nice package of uh, getting a CD and a nice, and, uh, uh, the open office flyer, and I got, uh, a kind of a rough legal statement saying that it was all right to copy it and that nobody, the, li the library didn't have any liability for putting the CD out. And I went round every single library in Edinburgh, 26 libraries, and uh, probably annoyed the absolute heck out of uh, everybody because nobody knew what it was. Nobody had ever heard of open source software. And the idea that somebody would walk off the street, give them a CD, that they were planning to give, ha hand out to the public. There was no way they were going to do that. 
because it might have contained viruses, it might have, <coughs> it could have had anything in it, not useful software.